Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. Uh, this is super new to me. So before we jump into this video real quick on this beautiful 2020 Honda CB. 300R. I just want to take a second to say if you could please hit that subscribe button. I know it might not mean a lot to you, but it means a ton to me. And to be completely honest, in this day and age, the more subscribers you have, the cooler videos that I can create. So if you've seen one of my videos in the past, you've enjoyed it, you're back for another, hit that little red button. It helps me out, lets me know I'm doing something right. But let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so without further ado, this is the 2020 Honda CB 300R. I cannot believe that I'm saying 2020 already. I'm gonna walk around the bike. We're gonna talk about a few different things. Uh, this is something that I've been super excited to review. But before we start, I have to thank my boys here at DFW Honda. Uh, please hit up my man, Justin. They're gonna be linked in the description down below. He has been amazing. All three bikes are set up and ready to go. He's given me a great route to take these things on. And he is a true motorcycle enthusiast, just like me just like you guys. Uh, the other thing is, as always, this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like DFW Honda to provide the most transparent buying experience when it comes to ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs, and of course, motorcycles. Yay! Uh, all right, so let's jump into this. What are we looking at here? So most importantly, we are looking at a $4,949 starting MSRP on this gorgeous 300cc entry level motorcycle. Now I know a lot of you guys hate when I call these things beginner bikes, but let's be honest, this is an entry level, it's a low displacement, it has a 286cc single cylinder engine. Some of the features uh, let's jump into right off the bat. You've got this beautiful frame here, kind of a trellis frame. One of the things that really jumps out at me is that the CB 300R does not look like a 300cc bike. This looks like a full-size motorcycle, albeit it does have the skinnier tires that you would see on one of these entry levels. Uh, it's got a two-seater here. We've got room for the pillion, a beautiful digital display up front that we'll show you in a second here. All the switches that you have grown to love. Showa forks, non-adjustable, but still pretty amazing trick suspension for an entry level. We've got preload adjustment suspension in the rear. This model comes with ABS, anti-lock brake system, Nissan calibers, front and rear. You've got this, you know, beginner-ish exhaust. I personally think that most exhausts that come from the factory are just begging to be taken off, but that's my opinion. The CB300R comes in one color. This is that matte pearl blue, and you can see in the sun here, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You've got a lot of black accents here. This motorcycle produces 31 horsepower and 20 pound-feet of torque which for a 300 is really not that bad. That's gonna get you up to your cruising speed on the highway. It's certainly gonna be more than enough for the twisty roads, and uh, it should give you a great experience if you are trying to learn how to ride a motorcycle. All right, guys, let's get up close and personal here on a little walk around video. I know you love these. I do wanna show you this nice digital display here. Turn that on. You have digital tachometer, digital speedometer. You have a fuel gauge, which is worth its weight in gold a trip odometer as you would. The side stand is down. You see on the far right there, the engine oil temp, and up on the top left, you have the time. Start it up. Now the bike is nice and warm, so don't worry here. Sounds really throaty, which is awesome. All right, guys, like I said, the CV300R here, uh, 2020. Cannot believe it is almost 2020. Five months, and we're entering a new decade, the Roaring Twenties. I'm out here, of course, in Dallas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Honda, DFW Honda. Please hit up my man, Justin. He is the cat's bandanas. Like always, in this great state of Texas, it's three billion degrees. So you'll have to excuse the fact that I'm suffering from uh, dementia related directly to heat stroke. Heat stroke related dementia. Is that a thing? It sounds really good. I'll give it that. Like pretty damn spectacular here for a little single cylinder 300. Oh, this feels really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, the only thing that I'm gonna continue to not like about these Hondas is that they have put their turn signals in the wrong location. 
otherwise this is going to be a fun one i can tell you do not have a gear indicator here you can see this red line's at about 10,500, which is very very cool all right so let's talk about the honda cb 300 r so first and foremost is it comfortable yes it's comfortable as sin it is more comfortable than any other 300 i think i've ridden in recent history and that's because it has a more standard upright riding position which you guys will have known from years of me owning standard super naked motorcycles it is my preferred riding position i think that this is a much more longevitous position i will say first and foremost that on the highway you are most certainly going to feel some wind buffeting around your chest upper shoulders and of course your helmet there is basically no wind protection on the front here uh, the digital display does deflect some but it's not enough to make that notable of a difference the other thing right off the bat the power delivery the smoothness I know we're not going very fast I know we're not pushing it in corners or anything like that but it feels good it feels connected the show of forks in the front I mean this is a luxury suspension system in an entry-level bike at an entry-level price I don't know if you can beat that. We're talking sub $5,000 here. Now I know just barely, but still this is huge. Motorcycle brands uh, are starting to step up their entry level motorcycles and I like it a lot. Oh man, it sounds really good. Now Justin over at DFW Honda gave me a little uh, figure eight circuit to go on here not a huge course just because we're really in the heart of it here there's a lot of highway around and it's not that i don't want to take this on the highway it's just that today especially it's about rush hour time so it just wouldn't be fun i'd be sitting in traffic there's not a whole lot that i would want to change about this bike too and sometimes on motorcycles i get on them and there's just initially that one thing that irks you uh, and makes you think like god this is not worth one the money or two it's not really what it says it's going to be this is this is neither of those. This is a fantastic bike. Truly, truly fantastic. Let's do a little downshift and see how it feels. Really good, really peppy. I'm, I'm probably at 75% throttle there. There's 100. Wow, you could get yourself in a little bit of trouble on this, which is uh, something to say for a 300, but oof. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering, Duke, you've ridden a lot of 300s, you've ridden a lot of 4s, you know, a lot of entry-level bikes. Um, where does this stand? How does this compete to the Ninja 400? How, how does this compete even to the Hondas that are the more super sport-oriented uh, entry-level bikes? And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, this might be my favorite. First and foremost, if you're comparing this to something like an RC390, which I know I haven't ridden on the channel, uh, or in real life, I don't know why I said it like that, then you're probably looking at the difference between this beautiful, super reliable Honda and a hyper unreliable KTM of which I've owned. Oh, it's got a shift light. No way, that's so cool. I did not know that. I like this a lot. It is more than powerful enough. I, I feel no issues here. You know, we're cruising. Let's get up to 60. We're cruising at 60, right? Totally fine. Feels like it has a ton left in the tank. I don't feel like I'm underpowered. Nothing. This is a really impressive bike. And it all comes with Honda reliability, Honda warranty. Comes with, you know, 300cc efficiencies. So it's going to be cheaper to buy, cheaper to insure, cheaper to run, cheaper to fix if anything broke this is so comfortable oh my god distance from my chest to the arms is perfect there's a bit of a bend in my knee again five foot nine 30 inch inseam if you are one taller than me two heavier than my 195 pound frame then you are going to probably feel a little bit squished on this you might feel a little underpowered um, with these motorcycles that have you know 30 ish horsepower or less it actually matters quite a significant amount how big the rider is transmission is buttery smooth
wow this is so smooth I mean I'm in, I'm in a gear that I don't need to be in uh, much higher than necessary and it just kind of tuts along as smooth as it can be downshifts are fantastic throttle response is actually much much more in tune with what you would find on a, on a more you know sporty displaced motorcycle it allows you to do auto or not auto but blipping downshifts this it's so beautifully balanced too my god suspension feel is really really sporty it's it's certainly not too firm i feel that it's comfort oriented but like comfort sport plus if that makes sense it's certainly not comfort only it's certainly not a sporty setup i feel very at home on this now mind you i mean i've just thrown a leg over this motorcycle that's that's saying something pretty outrageous this is one of the finer motorcycles I've ridden from Honda. Mind you, I've been on a 2019 CBR S1000, or sorry, CBR 1000 RRSP, which is their top of the line, essentially, you know, maybe one or two rungs below their crazy, like, SP2 bikes and uh, HRCs, but still, this, this is, this is competing in my heart for one of the best Hondas I have ever ridden. It's absolutely incredible. We're gonna pull in here, though respect the test ride wow 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 <sighs> all right guys well there it is thank you dfw honda here outside of uh, well in between dallas and fort worth as the name suggests uh this is a buy this is a huge buy a 10 out of 10 super win i ride a lot of motorcycles and i give a lot of positive reviews but trust me there are things that i don't like about a lot of other bikes and not only do I say them in the videos, but I write articles about them for Rollick, which I will be linking some descriptions down below if you want to go check out the things that I write these days. And this is truly and genuinely one of the best motorcycles that I have ridden in recent memory. I think Honda has done such an exceptional job here. I mean, first off, look at it. It's beautiful. It looks like a proper motorcycle. And that's not to say that other entry-level bikes don't. But it is to say that it's so important for the consumer to feel like they're spending their money on something that's worth the amount that they've spent, if that makes sense. You're spending five grand on a motorcycle, you better get a bike that looks like it's worth five grand. And this thing looks like it's worth 10, genuinely. Uh, suspension feels great, brakes are good. Uh, the 300 or rather 286cc single produces more than enough power for street uh, or track if you wanted to take this out. The styling is absolutely gorgeous, the paint, everything. So uh, please hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure to watch out for yourself, watch out for others, and watch out for this planet. And I will see you on the next one.